Hello, here's the news at this hour on Usali TV. I am Mobola Fadde Kane. Here are also major headlines. CSO demands sack of service chiefs head of DSS in Bronu. Ibadan communities drag IBEDC before NERC over eight years erratic power supply. Biden names all female senior communications teams and in the world of sports, Okoku lords mandates to have four NPFL stars in Eagles. And now, the news in details. A civil society organization, CSO Coalition in Defense of Nigerian Democracy and Constitution, CDNDC, on Sunday demanded the sack of service chiefs and head of Department of State Security and Nigeria Police Force over the killing of 43 rice farmers in Bernie State by Boko Haram insurgents on Saturday. The demand was made in a statement signed by the convener, CDNDC, Ariyo Dari Atoye, where the group called on the government to immediately put a stop to the ongoing re-radicalization program and hold freeing of the so-called repentant Boko Haram members and persecute them. However, the statement called for a protest in the northeast region over killings, attacks, displacement and misery across communities despite security presence. The International Monetary Fund, IMF, has urged the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, to get the country a unified exchange rate for the Naira. It remains stable at 378 Naira to a dollar on the CBN's official rate. The Naira was on Sunday exchanging at 500 to a dollar at the parallel market, while the currency got to a long-time low after weakening by 4 Naira from 493 96 naira to a dollar it closed on friday the imf said the Nigerian economy is struggling with the multiple shocks and is expected to grow by 4.3 in 2020 before a modest recovery in 2021 the imf said exchange rate rigidities have constrained the economy's ability to absorb external shocks and has been calling for unified exchange rate for the Naira to promote growth and attractive foreign capital. The Lalupa Iworo Feeders Electricity Consumers Association Ibadan has dragged Ibadan Electricity Distribution Company, IBEDC, before the Nigeria Electricity Regulatory Commission, NERC, over alleged erratic power supply in the area for the past eight years. The chairman of the association, Reverend Dide Kende, while speaking with the newsman on Saturday, lamented that the affected communities had been experiencing erratic power supply in the last eight years without a concrete solution from IBEDC. It was reported that Kende spoke with newsmen at the ending of a meeting between the association and the NERC with representatives of IBEDC also in attendance. The chairman accused IBEDC of being insensitive to the plight of the consumers, saying that the epileptic power supply had led to closure of some industries in the affected communities. Kennedy, however, said that the association had therefore resolved to be patient until March 2021 to see the level of compliance with the NERC's directive by IBEDC. The police command in your state has warned operators of motorcycle and tricycle in the state against any attempt to destroy properties. The police command gave the warning on Sunday in a press statement made available to journalists and in Ibadan, the Oyo state capital, by its public relations officer, Mr. Lubinga Fadi. In a statement, the commissioner of police, Mr. Joe N. Wong, warned that anyone found guilty in any destructive act would be dealt with according to the law. The news on TSOLI TV will be back right after this. Welcome back and now to some foreign stories. United States President-elect Joe Biden on Sunday announced an all-female senior White House communications team in what his office is called a first in the country's history. Among those named were Jen Psaki, who will serve in the highly visible role of White House press secretary. 
Saki, who is 41 years old, has held a number of senior positions, including White House Communications Director for the Barack Obama-Biden administration. Biden and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris have sought to emphasize diversity in the appointments and nominations so far ahead of the January 20th swearing-in, while in addition to Saki, six other appointments were announced. They include Kate Bedingfield, who was Biden's deputy campaign manager as White House Communications Director, and other appointees include Ashley Etienne as Communications Director for Harris, and Simeon Sanders as Harris's senior advisor and chief spokeswoman, among others. The Somalia government has recalled its ambassador to Kenya, Mohamed Ahmed Nur Fazan, accusing the country of political interference and has also asked the Kenyan ambassador to Somalia, Lucas Tambo, to leave the country for consultation. Somalia is said to have accused Kenya of pressurizing Jubaland federal state to reject an electoral agreement reached on 17th September on the forthcoming election set for next month. Meanwhile, Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Mohamed Ali Noor, said in a statement that the government took this decision while preserving its national sovereignty after it appeared that Kenya was deliberately interfering in the affairs of Somalia, particularly Jubaland. Kenya has, however, said its troops under the African Union mission to Somalia deployed in Jubaland together with Utopia has been keen to give the region, which stretches right along its 700-kilometer border with Somalia, as a buffer zone against militant group Al-Shabaab. And finally, to the exciting world of sports, ex-international Paul Lopoku has welcomed the decision to mandate technical advisor Genetra to include four players from the Nigeria Professional Football League and future Super Eagle squad. Speaking against the backdrop of the recent poor showing of a wholly foreign-based Eagle squad against Sierra Leone in a 2022 African Cup of Nations qualification doubleheader earlier this month, Okoku frowned at the reluctance of Raw to have home-based players in his squad. A member of the Eagles team that won silver at the 1984 African Cup of Nations under coach Adegboye Onigminde Okoko added that it was commendable that the Minister of Sports and Youth Development, Sunday Dari, and top officials of the Nigeria Football Federation, led by President Maju Melvin Pinnick, were in agreement on the need to have at least four NPFL stars in the country's elite team. Edison Cabrani might be the subject of an investigation from the Football Association after allegedly using a racially offensive term in a social media post. The Manchester United striker came off the bench to fire his side to a 3-2 win against Southampton on Sunday. The Red Devils were 2-0 down when the Uruguay international came off the bench for the second half and set up Bruno Fernandes to pull one back before heading into two of his own to seal the three points deep in stoppage time. The 33-year-old also shared some of the positive messages he received from fans in the wake of the victory. However, the FA and United have not commented on the issue as of yet. And with that, come to the end of the news. Here is a recap of the major headlines. CSO demands sack of service chiefs head of, head of DSS in Bernu. Ibadan communities drag IBEDC before NERC over eight years erratic power supply. Biden names all female senior communications teams, and in the world of sports, you heard Okoku Lord's mandate to have four NPF stars in Eagles. President Forget always a dare to cover 19 safety measures. The news was compiled by Hope. TGOK, I am Mobola. That day, a good day, and thank you for watching. Thank you.